First, import your photo and admire this person's beautiful hair. If you want to use the same photo I'm using, I'll have a link in the description so you can download it. With your subject layer selected, come over to the Selective Brush tool. Then, the process is very similar to my sky replacement tutorial if you watch that. Just click and drag along your subject to make a really rough selection. It does not have to be perfect at all. If you want to get rid of something, you can hold down Alt and drag across the background to get rid of it. Something like this should work fine for a rough selection. Then come up and hit Refine. Then you can just go through all the parts that are normally a pain to select like hair. You can increase your brush size with the bracket keys, and then you can just click and drag along the hair. You can usually be pretty rough with this because Affinity Photo just kind of knows what you want selected. It's kind of creepy. But as you can see, anything in red here is going to be cut out, whereas anything that's still in color is going to be included in our selection. If your selection is being difficult, you can come down and hit foreground or background to just select something that you want either excluded or included in your selection. So for example, this bit here doesn't want to be selected. So we can hit foreground, we'll zoom in, and we can just select that part and draw over it. And then you can do the opposite with the background if you want something in the background being more selected. Parts like this are going to be really tricky because it's technically out of focus, so it's going to be a lot harder for Affinity to understand what is foreground and what is background. So you just want to try your best to get your selection as good as possible. We can clean it up later. Now if you get tired of looking at red, or you want to see what your mask looks like, you can come over to preview, and then in here you have a couple different options to see what your mask looks like. So for example, a black mat will show you a black background, white mat will show you white, black and white will show you exactly what your mask will look like, and transparent is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to hop into white mat so we can clean up some of these weird bits over here that Affinity Photo doesn't know what to do with. Now even with all these fancy algorithms, it's going to be pretty hard to get a perfect mask, so we can help kind of refine it a little bit further by using the settings inside the refine selection. So we can smooth out our selection in a little bit, we'll just drag that up. And that will just kind of smooth out our selection so it's a little less harsh. We can even feather it a little bit to make it even less harsh. And if you want, you can ramp up and down your selection so you can either expand or contract your selection. Now with those settings, that's not a bad selection. Finity Photo did a pretty good job. And we can touch up some of these areas after, but first we're going to come down to Output, and then we're going to select New Layer with Mask, and we'll hit Apply. And what that will do is create a new layer with a mask with our selection that we just made. But as you can see, our mask isn't quite as gorgeous as we want it to be. So with that mask selected, you can grab your brush tool. And with that brush selected, you can either use black or white on that mask. So now if you draw on with black, it will remove something from your selection. And if you draw on with white, it will bring back your selection. Also with your brush tool, you want to make sure that you have a hardness of zero so that it's a nice soft brush. So now we can just go into these areas and just do a little bit more cleaning up to try and get it as best as possible. But once you've done that, you have successfully cut a person out from the background. This one was a bit rough because of all the hair and some of the bits were out of focus, and you could definitely spend more time to make your mask perfect, but I hope this helps you make a good selection of your subject. So now you can go on to add any sort of fancy edits that your heart desires. But with that, if you guys found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.